Hey, what is up guys? It's Kevin back in with a quick new video just showing you guys what I've been doing and what I've been working on. Now I know it's been a little over a week since I posted a picture or a video of the Lancer. I've just been busy. Um, I wound up having to take the head off, do all the valves and all that stuff. Um, it does still have a couple of issues, but let me show you how the car came out. Now, of course, you can see I've got jumper cables on it. I have horrible luck when it comes to batteries, but um, the battery was dead after sitting for a couple days. But I did get everything back together, new head gasket and all that good stuff. Got everything cleaned up. And um, as of now, it has no leaks whatsoever. It needs a front motor mount, which goes right there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm really going to mess with that because I've had this part for too long. I got the outside cleaned up. And as you can see, I mean, it's not a bad looking car. It's definitely not a bad looking car and the paint's good. Um, everything but the hood. Uh, the hood is kind of faded, but... You know, no major damage or anything like that. So let me uh, let me start it up for you. Now, like I said, the battery was freaking dead, and uh, uh, sit here, let it charge for a few minutes. The AC does work. Um, you can see it starts right up. It has a check engine light for a misfire, which I believe is the coil, the little spring that goes inside the coil. Um, but it doesn't overheat It runs really good like I said everything works on it heat AC um, It does have that little crack there, but it's on the passenger side So cops usually won't mess with you when it comes to that all the windows work And considering it's like a $200 car I had to spend um, I spent 40 no $38 on the head gasket. I spent uh, $12 on the um, on the valves themselves, what else do I spend? That's pretty much it. So I'm I'm definitely way under two hundred fifty dollars for this car. So um, and now it's running and driving good. Like I said, it doesn't overheat. Transmission shifts like butter. And like I said in the first video, that's the thing that you really worry about when you buy a car that doesn't run is going to be the transmission, especially automatic transmissions. But I lucked up and the transmission actually runs really good. Uh, I mean, shifts really good. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for 200 bucks, You can see the interior here came out pretty good. Um, it's got the factory Rally Edition floor mats. And like I said, I really like the Rally Edition interior. Oh, man. And, uh, of course, the wheels and all that. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I might might do something about the, uh, the motor mount because what happens is there's no there's no rubber in there at all so when you put it in reverse it's super smooth when you put it in drive the metal hits the metal and it makes it vibrate and i did take um some of this right here and this is like a rubber coupling and i stuck in there just to make sure that was the only issue and i stuck two pieces of this in there and um it actually stopped vibration and it ran and you know everything was good but uh of course with the uh, misfire the motor rocks a little bit and especially like when you hit the gas and that rubber just fell out so i might go get a motor mount which is probably like 10 bucks and just uh do away with that but yeah that's pretty much it guys i might have two uploads today i'm not sure uh i'm definitely gonna upload this one and i was thinking about doing another video here in a couple hours when i get everything done with this car so we'll see but uh hit a like leave a comment subscribe uh hit me up on my instagram which is kevin's cars 80 uh, at Instagram.com, and I'll talk to you guys later.